I'm glad you visited my channel where I share stories of love. Subscriptions and likes on my videos serve as a great motivation for me to create new materials. Enjoy your videos. I consider myself a person who avoids conflict and I have no enemies, although there is one person at work who is a problem. I have been a director of a construction company for a long time. I was the first to start this business in our small town. When I had several hundred people working under me, I always tried to avoid quarrels, insults, and gossip. If such incidents occurred, I quickly resolved them through discussion. Through trial and error, I built a strong and friendly team, but I did not realize that I would be the target of attacks. Since Maria joined our team last month, having moved from a neighboring town, I welcomed her with open arms because of her outstanding qualities. In three years of dedicated service, despite her young age, she has earned many accolades and expressions of gratitude. Joining us as head of accounting, she succeeded Sarah, who had been chief accountant and was now retiring. It was fitting to say goodbye to such a wonderful person, given her 10 years of dedication to our business since its inception. To mark the occasion, we decided to bring the whole team together in our spacious office to celebrate. By then, Maria had already settled into her new role. The atmosphere was filled with joy, and everyone was eager to contribute money to the celebration without hesitation. However, our new bookkeeper was the only dissenting voice, questioning the necessity of the contributions. She expressed disdain, questioning the purpose of the celebration, and hinting that there were more pressing matters to attend to. Her attitude caused dissonance not only for me, but also for the rest of the team. It was obvious from the start that something was wrong with her behavior. Despite this, it was difficult for me to fire such a talented employee. The farewell party went smoothly and allowed us to say goodbye to the retiree with dignity. However, Maria remained unhappy, watching from the sidelines with a sense of disdain. Subsequently, she began to come to me with complaints on a daily basis that she did not like the employees I took, that our income is too strange, that cooler with cold water, that something else. She blew my mind specifically, but the woman worked for five. The only thing that was nice about her was that she worked well. I don't know what to do, and I've talked to everyone. The answer's the same. Fire her and be done with it. I can't fire her. I need a different approach. I was so desperate that I went to consult with the girls. They know everything better. They offered me another option when my wife wasn't around. She likes you a lot. You have a wife. So you can't flirt with her openly. She just once needs to be frightened and she will walk under you. She will calm down immediately. Without thinking for a long time, I waited in the office for another cry, Maria and a new complaint. I am sitting in the chair as suddenly she flies into the office with a wild yell. Shouts something about finances, wasting money, and I do not even listen. Come to the desk. There are documents there. Read them. While she was coming over, I closed the doors to the office. She suspected something, but said nothing. She began to read thoughtfully, adjusting her glasses on her face. I remembered the words of the woman in accounting and decided to do things a little differently. I came up behind her and hugged her. The girl was silent, didn't even say a word against it. And then you can see for yourself how I frightened her. Now she doesn't scream and walks around the office the happiest. She has no complaints about me anymore.